Hello, let's work through this problem together. A storage tank holds 4,000 gallons of water. Over a 60 minute interval, water flows into the tank as water is also flowing out of the tank. In the table below, V represents the number of gallons of water in the tank at T minutes. So when T is 10, V of T is 1,561. When T is 20, V of T is 1,858. When T is 30, V of T is 2,054. When T is 40, V of T is 2,256. When V is 50, V of T is 2,473. And when T is 60, V of T is 2,572. If P is the point 20, 1,858 on the graph of V, let's find the slopes of the secant lines PQ when Q is the point on the graph at t equals 10, t equals 30, t equals 40, t equals 50, and t equals 60. Recall that the slope of the secant line passing through the points P, 20, 1,858, and Q, T, V of T, is given by M secant is equal to V of T minus 1,858 in the numerator, and t minus 20 in the denominator. Let's start by calculating the slope of the secant line PQ when t equals 10. And this is the only secant line that we're going to calculate in this video, but we need to give ourselves some more room. So here's the given information again. We have P is the point 21,858, and Q is the point T V of T, and we know that T is 10. So we need to Substitute 10 into V of T in the numerator for the slope of the secant line, and substitute 10 in for T in the denominator. So this gives us M secant is equal to V of 10 minus 1,858 divided by 10 minus 20. To find the value, of V of 10, we look at the table at the input value 10 and see that the output value is 1,561. So this gives us M secant is equal to 1,561 minus 1,858 all over the denominator. And we can calculate 10 minus 20 to get negative 10. Performing the subtraction in the numerator gives us M secant is equal to 1,561 minus 1,858, which is negative 297, and that's divided by negative 10. Performing the division gives us M secant is 2.97. Now, typically we would put the units on, the output units, are gallons and the input units are minutes. So M secant is 2.97 gallons per minute, but we're only asked to enter the numerical value, 2.97. Okay, that's it for now.